This is an absolute beginner basics guide to zombies in Black Ops 6. This guide will not be revealing any easter egg spoilers, I will not be revealing all the steps to complete the story, and I will also not be going into masses of depth about every single last feature in the game like all the ultimate guides out there. What I will be covering is the very basics of how the game works and a simple overview of what the different features are including those that are brand new in Black Ops 6 so that you have enough info to be going out there and having fun exploring the game for yourself rather than fumbling around like a blind wrestler at Royal Rumble like I was. So your first choice is which map to jump into. While they have a different story and layout they utilize all the same mechanics I'm about to talk about I've just opted for Liberty Falls gameplay here as it's perhaps a bit simpler, but it's completely up to you which you choose and everything in this guide still applies. After a game or two of multiplayer or zombies, you will quickly reach level 4 and unlock the custom loadout function. Here you can customise which guns, abilities and equipment you launch into the game with. I'll talk a bit more about some of these later, but if it's inaccessible, you'll jump in with the default loadout. Once you hit career level 11, you'll be able to start researching augments. Don't worry too much right now, just know that they're customizable boosts to your perks or equipment. And remember, once you hit that level 11, make sure you do go to the Edit Augments menu and select an Augment to Research. Just have one selected and you'll start passively making progress by playing the game. Black Ops 6 Zombies is round based, as shown by the indicator on the screen. In each round, you'll get a set number of zombie spawn that you have to kill before progressing to the next round. In round one, they'll be weak and slow, like irritated grandparents on the brink of succumbing to winter flu. You'll be able to take them out with a single slap. But in later rounds, they will be pumped up on steroids, wearing armor, and bringing their super mutant zombie friends with them, charging at you in their hordes. To progress, you'll need to get better weapons and perks, but don't worry. When you kill a zombie, you will milk it of its essence. What? This is one of the two types of in-game resource, the other being salvage. Salvage will be dropped by defeated zombies along with other power-ups, killstreaks and equipment. There are various places around the map to spend your hard-earned resources and we'll cover those briefly in a sec. But the very first thing to be aware of in-game is the antagonizer. Are you sure about that? You interact with it to activate it, but while it's active, zombies will hunt you down much more aggressively. This is here to make the game more challenging or to fly through some of the easier rounds quicker. You can deactivate it at any point by interacting with it again and the zombie's aggression level will return to normal. It's a little bit like giving a six-year-old their tablet back. But in terms of the random power-ups that aren't so obvious, just know that the Essence power-up immediately awards you 500 Essence and that the two times power up doubles the amount of essence awarded for killing zombies while the power up is active, as shown by the countdown timer on screen. The rest of the power ups you'll be able to figure out easily for yourself. The first way you'll probably spend your essence will be by unlocking doors. Don't worry, despite appearances, you won't get fried by touching them. Use Interact to open them and access new parts of the map to continue your voyage of exploration. The second place to use essence is wall buys. Here you can buy weapons or upgrade your armor. Weapon rarity will go up as the rounds progress. Another place is booby traps. There's a few around the map. They cost essence to activate and will kill zombies. Enough said. At some point you may stumble across something called a pack-a-punch machine. You may have even heard of this already. This is one method of leveling your guns and arguably the most powerful. Also note that around the maps you will find weapon stations where you can trade salvage to upgrade your weapon rarity as indicated by the colour on screen. This is another method of making your guns more powerful for defeating the zombies as they get stronger and stronger. And the final place to spend your hard-earned resource? Crafting stations. Much like a trip to an Aldi supermarket, you can get absolutely everything here, from armour plates to powerful killstreaks and self-revives. Wink wink. Though you will need to level up your account to access the most powerful crafting items. We've mentioned guns and equipment, but we absolutely need to mention the Perka Colas. Purchased from vending machines dotted around the maps, they will give you game-changing perks, like a resurgent stream and neck in a crate of energy drink. Be sure to check them all out and have a play to figure out which ones are most important to your playstyle and advancing through the rounds. You will also find gobble gum machines around the maps. Interact with a machine to put a gum in your pocket, which you can consume later during the game to grant a temporary buff. I won't go into the full depth of it in this guide, go to your customised loadout screen before entering a match to digest the millions of gums and how they work. 
Figuratively speaking, of course, because if you actually digest gums, it'll leave you farting bubbles. It's scientifically proven. We are almost at the end of this guide with just a couple of points to go over before you launch into mayhem and destruction. The mystery box is back. If you're not familiar with it, look for a white beam of light towering into the sky to see where its random location is that game. For a modest sum of essence, you can activate it like a whimsical one-armed bandit awarding a rare weapon, possibly even one of the godlike mystery weapons. However, if you see a purple beam of dark ether in the sky, this signifies a SAM trial is available. These are optional in-round challenges that are fun and often tricky to complete, but they can give big rewards, so they're ones to look out for. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on Black Ops 6 Zombies. Is it a W or an L? I think it's a massive W, but it's now time for you to start your own journey. You've got as many rounds as you can survive before you either choose to exfil or the zombies get you. And until I hopefully see you back here for my next one, check out this video on screen right now.